the New Media Institute is essentially a program that is just a, a neat opportunity to bring in some students from abroad, from a culture very different from ours, to teach them, for some of them, citizen journalism skills, and for some of them to sort of hone their, um, their skills and abilities as journalists. It's a way to explore the ways that um, new media, mostly social media like Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, YouTube, all the, all the new technological advances, how they can be used in this changing media environment. We had five countries represented, Nepal, Sri Lanka, India, and Bangladesh, and then we had our U.S. students. I mean, they're the same age, maybe a couple years older. So you really saw that five mix of nationalities with wildly different ethnicities, wildly different religious experiences. We, we really had to find shared experiences among our differences. Um, ever since I've been here in Norman, John and Kathy with have uh, have been with us all the time. So because it's because it's so hot out today, one of the, what, what we're going to do with the kids today? They made sure that we have a great itinerary plan, and they had uh, awesome events planned for us. But uh, my favorite has been uh, going to the Passio Arts Festival, um, having a creative bend of mind, and I love all quirky things. So being there was like a great experience. I don't have anything like that back home. This was like an amalgamation of all sorts of performing arts and other arts. Um, having this huge bowl of ice cream with Kathy and then just buying stuff. So, Pastor Arts Festival was my favorite bit. Ah, definitely I would stick to horseback riding because it was really a very nice experience because I haven't ridden a horse. And when my dad, I uh, told my dad that I would, be, I would be riding a horse and he asked me that, no, you can't do that because horse riding is really dangerous. And uh, I was a bit scared first I got into the into it. <laughs> What's the problem? That seems to be the problem up there. But here the horses are so tame and so good. Seriously, I mean, it was like tall like this, and I had really great a lot of fun. On the second occasion, uh, we went to an old age citizen, uh, senior citizen's uh, care shelter and we spent a lot of time with them. It was funny to see that how happy and content they are with their lives despite whatever is going on. They're happy and they greet you with a smile and a warm heart and hug. The person who I was dealing with, he was a very friendly person. He was asking me about my uh, lifestyle and what I'm doing and uh, what do I do next and why I'm here. Back in my country, we have so many stereotypes about this Western culture and Western society and I am amazed to see that those are all totally, I mean, backdated and they do not exist at all. I thought that Bangladesh people are the most, I mean, the best hospitable at all, but it is not true at all. Try to start familiarizing yourself with how to collect media content and try to make it do things it doesn't seem like it should do either, except drop it. <laughs> the style of education you provide, that's really totally different from that we have back in Bangladesh, seriously. It, back in our, our country, in our classes, I mean, teacher used to come and write something on the board and give us the boring lecture sheets, we have to memorize it and vomit it in an exam paper. But here, actually, you can figure it out that what is actually the main purpose of study. In all South Asian countries, we have this hierarchy position. So, we can't talk everything with the lecturers, but no, when we talk about this situation, they are sitting with us. There is no hierarchy, there's a the same level. So we can't share everything with them. These students from these countries, they see the opportunities of what journalism can be, what it can do, because, you know, depending on their circumstances in their countries, you know, they've had a very level of openness and freedom of the press. The real challenge for them is to go back and try to persevere in continuing on with this experiment in social media and new media and journalism when they're all on their own. We have to establish a particular kind of uh, a genre where people will be informed, people will get information through the latest means of uh, communication, latest means of uh, technology. If they can get that point where they truly believe that they have a voice and to, to kind of share that voice with others, you know, we, we've made it A grade. Uh, I made some small documentaries about the drug addiction in our, my country, in Bangladesh. Most of the drug addicts in my country are teenagers. 
and the most of the Facebook users are also teenagers. So I can make short documentaries and put them on Facebook. I can avert them about drug addicts, about Eve teasing, other stuffs. So I think that I can uh, contribute a little to the society. For them to really learn what new media is about and what role it can play in democracy for citizens, they have to realize it's them. It's only them. Very important for a country like mine to make the people informed about the things going on. I think the amount of confidence that the teachers and faculty show in the students is just marvelous and it's really encouraging for me as a student. We have to keep that confidence in us. We have to keep that faith. Something provokes me from inside. Go, yes, go. You can do it. Go, yes, go. You can do it. 